Frame rate is a big aspect of almost every competitive game in the world. Almost every pro level player plays on the maximum FPS possible. This is why you tend to see a lot of PC players get consistent placements and earnings. This is also why console players have a huge disadvantage, sorry about that, that is just very easily distinguishable as most of them don't place in events. So what makes it so important? Good question, little Bobby. Well, to start, the more frames you have, the more you can see. Frame rate is basically how many frames your monitor and game are showing you per second. It's more detail and essentially higher numbers of data being fed into your brain. The more accurate and packed this data is, the better you can play. Some people woke up this morning asking themselves this question. No, not some, probably a lot more than that. How can I improve my FPS? And another group of people woke up this morning asking themselves this question. I can't necessarily get more than 60 because I play on console. So what can I do to actually play better on lower frames? I knew that because I can read minds. Eee. What's going on, guys? This is your guy. That's right. Your friend. Come on, say it with me. The one and only Keith Allen. And uh, hey, connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram because I want to let you know right now I am your number one fan. I really am. I don't care what people have said about you. I don't care what negative things people have labeled you with. I, it doesn't matter. Like You're going to do things that you've never done before. You're truly going to be successful, not only in this game, but also in life. But I, got, but I got a question for you. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? You better believe it because it's going to happen. I'm telling you so in this video today we're gonna to be showing you guys the best tips for not only playing on low frames but also on how to get more frames on PC PC players where you at guys where you at make some noise come on thank you and more consistent frames on console as well that's right I said we have frame tips for console console players make some noise come on there you go so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get right into it but before we do we have to ask you guys this show your love for pro guys by smashing that like button come on don't like really smash it because you might break something, but just like gently touch it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. It only takes a few seconds and it really helps us produce these videos. More videos will make you a better player. So I guess it's a win-win if you think about it. We also noticed that most of you guys haven't visited our website and I just want to let you know right now, you are missing out. You really are because we've added all new analysis videos and trending articles along with new courses coming with World Cup pros and much more. So click that link and check us out. First and foremost, we have the console players. Yeah. Although you guys are stuck at 60 FPS, I'm so sorry about that. I really am. I want to give you a hug. We have some tricks up our sleeves that could get you not only more consistent frames, but also more frames in some rare cases. We're pretty sure that recently you've seen that sometimes your frame limit can actually pass 60. Because of this, you'll oftentimes see a spike past 60. This is because your console is capable of outputting more graphics power, which basically means that it's true, performance is high. Now, although these won't be permanent and can only last for short periods of times, they're a sign that your console is performing at peak capability, which is exactly what you guys want. When your console is performing this well, it can give you consistent frames, which is often not the case with most people. So how can we make it so that these frame rate boosts happen more often? Well, to start, we're going to do some different things for each platform. So please make sure you're paying attention so you don't miss the tips for yours. And if you're not paying attention, I'm going to send you to the principal's office. I can't really do that. So first of all, for Xbox players, hey guys, how you doing? What you guys want to do is go ahead and click on your Xbox button and go to settings. From here, you want to scroll on down to preferences and then select broadcast and capture. Once you're here, you're going to want to turn this baby off. What turning off your DVR will do is it'll take stress off of your device as it will not be recording anymore. Recording gameplay, guys, uses up your graphics card and RAM a very good amount of it, too. By focusing the components of your device solely on the game itself, you're going to be optimizing your console for performance and will now be getting more consistent frames. Aha! This is the same as what PC players are going to be doing later in this video, but obviously it works a bit different. Oh my goodness, PC players, we haven't talked about you for one second and you're already getting jealous. You know what? You remind me of my little sister who used to get all the attention and they treated me like the mobile players. Mobile players, I feel your pain. The next trick, my friends, for Xbox players is to turn off those pesky notifications. Not only do they distract you during your gameplay, but they also take up graphic power when they pop on your screen. Turning the setting off is going to allow for better frames and less distractions. Moving on to PS4 players. What's up, guys? You guys actually have some really cool features that are installed within the software of your console. So go ahead and hop into your settings and scroll down to system. Once you're in this setting, you should see something called boost mode. Not beast mode, okay? Boost mode. 
What Boost Mode does is actually focuses your console system settings on maximum performance and frame rate. This setting is only available on PS4 Pro, however, so don't be discouraged if you don't have one as we do have some tips for the normal PS4 owners as well as some all-around tricks for console players. The next thing that you PS4 players can do is actually install an SSD to replace your HDD. What an SSD does is basically make your console much faster. Who wants that? I do. Although SSDs are linked to faster boot times, they can also greatly improve performance as they tend to speed up the entire system. We recommend you guys do this with caution as it will require opening your PS4 and messing with some internal parts. But if you trust in your ability, uh, go ahead and do it. It'll definitely help. But if you break it, don't, don't blame me. Okay, don't go telling everyone that Keith Allen told you to break your PS4 because that's not true. You gotta do a caution and you better know what you're doing, all right? Now, we've gone over specific tricks for each console type, but you know what? It's time to unite. It's time that we come together as a console family. You guys ready to do that? We got some tips for all consoles. So, go ahead and head into your Fortnite game settings. You can scroll all the way down and see something that says record replays. Although replays can be useful for some people, the majority of players don't use this feature and it also happens to take up a lot of your performance. It works very similarly to the DVR and Xboxes that sucks up your entire console's power, so turning this setting off will get you better performance as well. One final useful thing to keep in mind, my friends, is to make sure that your console is always cool. If your console feels like it's been chilling in the jacuzzi, that's not a good sign. <laughs> All right. Consoles tend to heat up a lot, and by going ahead and making sure that it's at stable temperatures, it's going to allow for maximum performance. This is because consoles have a safety switch where they will slow down performance if the components become too hot. This keeps them from getting permanently damaged, which is great, but it can also affect performance greatly. Now that we've gone over all the tips for increasing performance on consoles, let's get into what you can do to improve your gameplay on slow frame rates. Playing on a slower frame rate, my friends, does put you at a disadvantage. It does. But believe it or not, there's actually a really cool way to counter this by taking advantage of a certain aspect of Fortnite. And this is called muscle memory. Sure, being able to see things clearly will help a lot during games, but if you practice your ability moves and aim to the point where you can just do it with your eyes closed, you don't ever even actually need to keep your eyes on the screen. I'm not saying do it blindfolded or start watching a show as you're playing the game, but you know what I'm saying, right? Well, we bet this is about to blow your mind when I tell you that the majority of pros can actually perform a lot of their building tricks with their eyes closed. It's like they have superpowers or something. It's, it's crazy. This is because of how much they practice and master the moves in their arsenal. And this is exactly what you guys should do. My friends, you hit me up on my Insta and you ask me questions on how you can get better at the game. And the number one answer that I always give is you got to practice. Focusing on practicing and mastering techniques is what's going to take you to the next level. Even when you're met with the issue of low frame rates. We suggest spending lots of time in creative against skillful opponents so that your brain becomes familiar with the movements and combos that will allow you to perform. You can do this, guys, but it's going to take some time. You got to be patient. Stay grinding. Don't ever give up, okay? We also suggest that you don't change your sensitivity too much if you're doing this because sensitivity changes will mess a lot with your muscle memory. So try to pick one sensitivity that you do really well on and work on mastering all your building tricks and aim with these settings. All right, PC players, I told you that we got you. I told you that we weren't going to forget about you. All right, so we've covered everything you need to know if you're on console or play on low FPS. Now, let's get into what you can do to improve your FPS if you're on PC. Okay, so there's a lot of ways that you can get more frames and boost performance. So, we've compacted the majority of these methods in the rest of this video. So, get your PC out and you better follow along. To start out, you're going to want to click the Windows button plus S. This is going to open up your Windows search bar. Now, search graphic, then click on graphic settings. Now, click Browse and select your drive that has Fortnite installed on it from the left column. Click Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, and finally Win64. Over here, you're going to see four bars that are identical. Use the slider on the bottom to slide over to the right side where it displays the size. You want to click the one with the largest file size, then click Add. Now, click on Options and set this option to High Performance. This will set the best graphics card available to Fortnite as well as put your PC power into Fortnite directly, basically focusing in on the game rather than on other things that could be going on in the background. This trick is very underused and it's not known by the majority of PC players. Now, we're going to click Windows and S once again, but this time, search up Background. Now, click on Background Apps. 
go ahead and turn all these off using the master switch at the very top of the screen. What this will do is it will not allow any applications to run background apps while you're playing. Background apps have a huge impact on PC performance and so many people forget this. It can significantly improve frame rate and most people completely forget about this. Now, one important side note that we suggest is instead of using the master switch, turn off all your background apps individually so that you can keep Windows anti-virus enabled. It's much safer, guys, to keep this setting on and we highly suggest it, especially if you don't have any extra antivirus software. Okay, so moving on to the next boost, we will be performing something known as defragmenting. Defragmentation is a process that reduces the distance of your files, which is a huge problem in hard drives. Defragmenting, although very useful, isn't the best for SDDs, so we suggest that you only do this next step if your PC has a hard drive installed. The first step is to pull up Windows Search once again, then typing in defrag. You should see a box called Defragment and Optimize Drives. Go ahead and click on this. Next, select the main hard drives that you want to clean using defragmentation. Once you've selected them, click and analyze and then optimize. This will automatically start the process of defragmentation. Once it's over, you should see a significant increase in the speed of your PC. Not only will your boot times be faster for programs, but your overall system will be able to perform much faster. Another thing that many people forget to do is regularly clean their recycling bins. Woo! Recycling bins tend to take up a lot of storage, guys, and too much storage being filled will always slow down your PC. So be sure to delete the contents of your recycling bin every once in a while. You got stuff in there like from years ago. All right, let it go. All right, let it go. For the next trick, my friends, we're going to be changing the power plan on our PCs to get the most power possible delivered straight to our components. We're going to do this by clicking Windows Plus S and then searching Power Plan. Select Edit Power Plan and then click the Power Options that will be at the top of your File Explorer. Now, select Additional Options and choose High Performance Mode. This will boost your PC speed significantly and drive up the overall performance and then we can just cure for ourselves because that's amazing. For the next and final trick, we're going to be going into Fortnite itself and adjusting the graphics setting, okay? What we're going to be doing is setting all the graphics settings to low or off, except view distance. This is what the majority of pros use, regardless of how powerful their PC is. This because it results in maximum performance, while lowering unnecessary graphic stimuli that can be very distracting during a very intense game. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you guys. And now that you've watched this entire video and have performed these tips and tricks in your PCs, be confident that you've pushed your PC to the absolute best it can be. And go enjoy some smooth and consistent Fortnite. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys. This is your year to do all the things that you've never done before. And make sure that you get on with your Fortnite grind and we hope that your pc is running like nasa's okay let's go